Hi and thank you for watching. I'm Exo Francesca Fox and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be talking all about my favorite MAC products. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid at all. MAC doesn't even know who I am, but I do have a lot of products that I'm constantly repurchasing and using up all the way and then buying again. So if you want to see all my MAC favorites, then stay tuned. I'm going to do this in the order that I apply these products to my face. So I'm going to start with the face. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, NW20. For concealer, I use this as an eyeshadow primer. It helps eyeshadows last all day long and it helps cancel out all the coloring on your eyelids so that your colors will show with more concentration. And then also I put this on the under eye. So NW20 is a lot lighter than my face, but I like to have a really bright under eye. I think it's a really glam look and it's a style. Like I saw a lot of girls on WAGS doing it. Um, the Kardashians used to do it too. It's just really bright and I think it's really pretty. So in MAC terms, like I'm an NC, which means I use like yellower tone makeup. But for the under eye, I like to use NW because I think a salmon, pinkier tone is a lot more flattering for the under eye. I think it's a lot prettier. This might be my favorite MAC product actually. This is what I use to set my under eye and this is MAC Emphasize. It's a refill pan and this is a pro product but you can purchase all MAC Pro products on maccosmetics.com. I just use it to set everywhere I put the concealer because I use it to set my eye when I prime it and then I use it to set my under eye as well. It's not cakey and it doesn't crease throughout the day. It is so perfect for the under eye. I just think it's so pretty, so glam, and I just love how like it brightens your face. It makes you look so fresh and awake and cute. Another face product that I love from MAC is the Studio Fix Foundation. So this I'm hitting pan really hard. I actually have a replacement. This is Studio Fix in NC42. So that's just what I use to set all my foundation. So my skin tone in MAC is NC42. So it's yellow tone and very tan. I'll show you the new one because that looks janky. Okay, so this is what I use to set my face. And it's good with oil control and it stays all day. And I don't mind adding color to my color foundation because it doesn't cake on. Beautiful. My favorite product to bake with is the MAC Set Powder and this is in Invisible. It's just a white powder and it's loose so you just have it in here. It looks like powdered sugar, a little bit like flour and I just use this to bake. When I contour I like to take a flat brush with this product on it and then just stamp it out like that to perfect that line. See that just like cleans it up. It just makes application really easy. So if you're blending out your contour or your bronzer and it's not perfectly in a line, which it won't be, then this is perfect to set it and just sharpen that. My favorite blusher is Melba. And then again, this one's hitting pan pretty hard too because I just, I love this stuff. I use it. It's all well loved. Um, this is Melba. It's a really beautiful like, muted pink rose. And it looks really nice on all skin tones. It's matte, so if I'm doing like a really crazy eye and I don't want like shimmer and all that, I love using Melba. Next up, I'm gonna do the eyes. Before I start talking about eyeshadows, this is MAC Fascinating. This is the white eye coal. And this is my secret weapon at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. That was my first time I ever saw white water lines. I just think it makes my eyes look so much bigger, so much more awake, like doe-like. That I think is so flattering. I even when I do like a dark under eye, I still put this color right here and then I'll just smoke out the bottom. I just, I'm really into white waterline. It's so easy and it makes such a big impact. It's not a comfortable place to be applying cosmetics. So like if you get the kind that doesn't have good color payoff and you're just stuck there, like reapplying and reapplying, it's very uncomfortable. So MAC Fascinating is the best. Here's some of my favorite shadows in no particular order. I don't have them in clamshells, I have them in in a Z palette. So this is nylon right here. This is a really frosty white cream color and I love this. I use this every single day and I like it on my brow bone and my inner corner as you can see no matter what look I'm doing. So this, that, and I just think it makes everything look so glam. Another favorite of mine is soft brown and it's just that. It's a soft brown 
super pretty. It's a warmer tone, a little bit pink in the undertone. And I love putting this as a transition and it goes really well with almost every look. I have this on my eye. It just helps blend out. If I'm doing like a crazy crease color as well, uh, just to keep the harsh lines away, I'll put some of this on a fluffy brush and smoke it out to blend and get rid of all the harsh lines. This was my favorite eyeshadow for the longest time. This is Texture and it is like a light, a little bit orangey brown. I love this color so much. I put it on my lid, I put it on my crease, I put it as my transition sometimes, um, I put it all over the place. I just really love this color. I think it is so flattering. I think it's good as the start of the show color, but I also think that it's really pretty at blending everything else out. Another color that I love, this is Brown Script. It's just a little bit deeper, really beautiful, warm tone brown. And I just love these colors on brown eyes. I think that it makes us look like we are made of caramel. See how rich that is? I love it. Another color that I love is Espresso. It's a cool tone, deeper brown. And I like to put this in the outer corner. This looks like I miss fall. Um, yeah, folly fall colors because that's my favorite thing. My one favorite that I'm not currently wearing right now, this is my favorite matte black eyeshadow ever. This is Carbon. It's just a perfect matte black. I mean, perfect. Love it for the lower lash line. Love it for the outer corner for a really glam look. But these are the best eyeshadows. These I keep on purchasing and purchasing. I hit pan and run out really fast because these are like my daily staple eyeshadows. Now let's talk about lips. And MAC lipsticks are some of the best lipsticks ever. They smell so good, they're so creamy to apply, and they just sit beautifully on the mouth. They're pretty long wearing compared to other lipsticks that I've had, and just the color payoff and just the texture is so perfect. MAC lipsticks are my favorite lipsticks. I love them so much. So no matter what lipstick that I wear, I almost always wear the same lip liner, and if you watch my past tutorials, you'll know what it is. MAC Pro Longwear Lip Liner in the shade Morning Coffee. This is so money, I can't even believe it. So money, I have it on right now. It's just perfect, like if you wanna overline, this color will not give you away. This isn't my lip shade, but I made this up. Oh my gosh, this is the best. Okay, actually, you know what? Okay, this is my favorite MAC product ever. MAC Pro Longwear Lip Liners are so crazy creamy and long wearing. The color is so perfect and I bet it would look good on so many people. A daily lipstick that I love from MAC, this is Kinda Sexy. And it is a like pinkier tone. Oh, I'm hairy. This is what I have on my lips right now. It's like a pinkier mauve. This is Whirl. This is a matte lipstick and it's just a little deeper. I think I learned this from like trying to find Kylie Jenner dupes. It's a deep mauve, super pretty. And sometimes if this is too much, I like to put kind of sexy in the middle of the lips and it's so beautiful. This color, I love it. When I'm paler, uh, I really like this color. It's called Freckle Tone. And I don't wear this as much because I've fallen for mauves, but it's a luster. so. It, a little more glossy and it's like a peachier, lighter nude, but it's so beautiful. This is another Kylie Jenner dupe. This is Velvet Teddy and it's like dustier rose. What? I'm the worst swatcher. It's like a dustier rose shade right there. It's a cool tone and it's so beautiful. And this too looks really good with morning coffee. You guys, these colors for the fall, like these are phenomenal. I love that so much. And then I have Viva Glam 3, which is super pretty also. So pretty. So this is Rebel, perfect for fall. And it is a like berry colored, whiny shade like that. It's a little blotchy sometimes. So what I do is I fill in my lips with my lip liner, Morning Coffee. It's just really cute for the fall and looks good on a lot of makeup looks, a lot of different skin tones and yes more of a berry tone. Gosh, I love all these swatches. I'm like, oh, these are my favorites, but they like, they literally are. Like these are my favorites. This is a retro matte. This is Ruby Woo. And this is a very matte red color, which I love. I love wearing this in the summer too. And I love wearing it for the holidays. It is just so 
like scarlet red. So these are all of my favorite MAC products and I am constantly there just repurchasing all these things or shopping online and they have not let me down. I haven't really flirted with the brushes too much yet. It's definitely stuff that I want to try. But yeah, these are my favorite products and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Pronto, 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 pronto.